Jedi fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 8.5 Anniversary Update series. Um, you can see my little starter HV that we built. We're just up here in the... Um, where are we here? We're up here in the North Pole. I'm trying to find somewhere to <clears throat> potentially build a base because I want to do it up on the North Pole. Uh, obviously not in the fog, but as I'm cruising up by here, I ran into some dudes and let's go take a look at them because they're going to be here. They're going to be right over here somewhere. I love how silent these hover thrusters are too. They don't make any noise when you're giving them gas. Okay, so there we go. There's guys over there. Yep. Xerax. So we can um, we can potentially kill these guys. Now there we go. Level 8. What I really need is level 10. Oops. Come on. Headshot him. There we go. Thank you. <clears throat> big, big XP for them. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know how close we can get before we start getting fired upon by the fortifications, because that's obviously the fortifications are in there. Because I saw the um, the thingy floating above the whole thing. You know that uh, matrix, and there's that the um, the radar station. So this is all part of the Robson Protocol stuff. So we're going to have to come here later. We don't really need to be here right now. So <clears throat> I'm not even going to go loot them. They're going to be clo too close to enemy POIs anyway. I just don't want to get that close. Uh, homing rocket turrets can definitely ruin your day. Trust me. In those fortifications, some of them are going to have homing rocket turrets. Yeah. You heard me. Homing rocket turrets yes on enemy POIs yes on NPC enemy POIs yes yes they exist huh, and that's part of the Robson protocol stuff so yeah fun there oh is that more is that one of those or is that just a cricket uh, it's just a cricket in the water okay um, yeah we could probably get up to the watchtower if we came at it from the water. But I don't want to risk it. <clears throat> I don't want to risk it. We do, I don't think we'll need to. There's other ways of getting here. So we're going to explore that. For now, what I want to do is I want to go do... Where is it here? Really? Okay, here it is. The alien... Watchtower. Oh, you know what? I already... I, I had to do that. <laughs> Don't need that. It's already highlighted somewhere over there, right? Yeah, Alien Tower. Okay, I'm not going to run through that stuff to get there, though. And we're going to go into our uh, mobile constructor. Um, this fuel, too. Grab it. Uh, so, hmm. Well, I can make a multi-tool with multi-tool chargers right now, too. I could learn the drill. I don't think I can make the drill in here. Let's take a... Okay, hang on. I, let's take a look at the tech tree really quick here. Uh, so let's go into weapons. What should we take? The shotgun... The assault rifle, the light armor, explosive device. I think we want to take all three of those. There's probably higher level ones that I should be taking too. Explosive device. Okay, that'll give me the capability of making bullets for the other uh, rifles and stuff. Okay. Um, let's take the T2 drill. 
and we'll take a look in a second. I don't think the mobile constructor can actually do it, so I mean, I'm quite positive. Again, I'm not going to worry about the large ammo box or the portable constructor right now. I've, already, I've got one right now, and I've got a mobile constructor now, so eh, not necessarily have to learn that. Looking at must-haves right now, only must-haves. Do some more stuff with the SV. Uh, we must well take the ventilator then, mobile constructor for it. Oh, it! They made a SV detector. Wait, really? Okay, well we're gonna take that. How freaking cool is that? I haven't. I did not know that. That's actually must be new. Uh, okay. Well, I can't learn anything else really that's... Uh, I'm not going to worry about that stuff yet. Well, let's take that and that. It's always good to learn those so, I, so you can actually, you know, make a SV. Um, do the shutter doors. Even though I don't necessarily need to. Capital vessel. What about base? So... Here's my dilemma. Am I doing a base first? Am I doing a capital vessel first? Am I not doing a base? I think I want to do the base and get drone base attacks up in the north with, um, yeah, with, with the solar panels up in the north, I can get a really efficient base going. <clears throat> Better if I was closer, if it was a planet closer to the sun. But we'll, we'll do a space base in a sector that's close to the sun and I'll be able to make a big space base that is completely self-sufficient that you don't even have to turn the furnaces off because the amount of energy that the solar panels get is ridiculous um, capital vessel or base capital vessel or base let's do the base let's do the base so we're gonna do cannon Unlock that. Get that. We're gonna get a grow up going. Get our food processor, hangar door. Uh, don't necessarily need the armor locker. I've got one on the HV. That's probably good enough for now. Well, I mean, what the hell? Let's do this. Don't really need the sentry gun so much. I've got the cannon turret. Yeah. What else can I do here? Oh my goodness, yeah, the clone station and medic. I guess I gotta learn those too. I'm gonna need to learn this stuff, so. We can do boosters and stuff. Okay, we need to level. And we need to make some weapons. So let's do that. <clears throat> Mobile constructor. Now when we go into the weapons thing, see I got some more ex some more stuff. I've got the explosive device, the shotgun, and the assault rifle now. So um Oh yeah, this can make the EVA boost. I just need a gold and get okay. Gotta find gold. That's fine. Good. Um Hmm, I can make the drill charge, but not the drill itself, not the T2 drill. Okay, that's fine. Which weapon do I want? Hmm, I don't have these on me. I'll put these in a cargo box for now. Uh, what weapon do I want? What weapon do I want? I probably want both, right? Yeah, let's make both. One for close up. One for sh or one for range, one for close up, and one for blowing up doors. But that's more ammo stuff. I'll make the ammo later. Right now, I'll do the uh, bullets. Let's do bullets. Let's 
500, 1,000. That's good enough. And then it's just 30, so if I do 300, that's plenty. <clears throat> okay, so now we're getting some weapons. Uh, we've got armor on already. I guess you probably noticed that. So we're good to go. Uh, yeah, let's just head there. So it's going to take a bit. Let's, let's head there. We're going to explore a little bit on the way. So what I want to do um, is literally head straight south and then over to, to, to like eat up a big chunk of the uh, fog of war. So well, maybe not straight south, but we're going to head south. Oops. Did I not... Uh, that was weird. Okay. I guess I was too low and it sank in. That's fine. So. Looks like there's going to be lots of stuff over here potentially too, though, eh? Like, look at all my... Ooh. Yeah. Oh, 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 critter, water critter. Should I jump in the water and, like, get killed by it because I can't do anything? <laughs> uh, that scares the crap out of me. I don't even want to swim anymore. Like, I just don't want to jump in the water because there's no way of defending yourself, right? If you're in the water, you're screwed. You're absolutely screwed. You're, you can't defend yourself. None of your weapons work. Um... I mean, I guess you could, like, swim to the bottom and, like, dig a quick hole to fall into so that you could shoot up at it. I don't know. Ugh. Okay, so this is, this is looking scary. I got to be really leery of POIs because I could easily get one shot in this thing, I think. And that looks like a scary, nasty one. That's the what the shrine? Yeah, that's the shrine over there. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with that. So let's see if we can actually try and mark that somehow. I don't even know where that is. That looks like somewhere around here, maybe. Let's guess. Let's guess here. POI. No. That's a little off. So here. It's just a guessing game I'm playing right now. Just to get it close enough. Just to get it close enough. Yeah, that's a little bit closer. That's that's pretty close, I would think. That looks like that might be about 750, because it hasn't come up. It has to... I can't see its name, so it's at least 500, more than 500. Oop, there's another one of those critters. Was that in there? Shoot into the water to get to it? No, I don't know. Will it come at me out of the water? Can we see it with the headlights? Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, yeah, it can see us because it's coming. It's coming for us. Isn't it? Isn't it? Is it coming for us? No, no. Oh, yeah, it is. It charged. Did you see that? That. It's creepy as all hell. Oh. I hear a Xerox behind me. Didn't I? Didn't I just hear a Xerox do that, you know, their like, like throat clear thing? 
No? Okay, maybe it was just it making some weird noise. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, those things are creepy. Oh my goodness. Fun stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's keep going. we got to head south, so we got to get around the potential nasty area. I'm, I'm just afraid that there's, because there's so much... I'm afraid that one of those fortifications are over here. And it's going to shoot me by the at the same time that I discover it. So it's a guaranteed hit. It's going to blow up multiple freaking uh, blocks on this thing of various types. So I just... <sighs> I'm just really paranoid about going into those radiated zones with a really cheap HV. <laughs> Until I really know where those fortifications are, it uh, it really scares the crap out of me. Oh, look at this assassin. Where is he running? weirdo should be grabbing those eggs and stuff but although you know what these these trees here they barely take anything to cut down and you get major yield watch seven logs <laughs> and I just tap I just tap twice I did whoa 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 I pissed off the natives okay are the um the, uh, I pissed off the fauna. Are they coming after me? You know, I leave the zone and they're like... So, like, they're the, they're the what? The zone guardians, really? Where did they go? Did they despawn? Oh, no. They're hiding. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? Well, they still die the same. Still got those crappy little hitboxes that are hard to hit. Okay. I actually want to jump out here and pick this. Should I, though? Where are those... Raptors. I don't think hear anything screeching and running for me. Okay, let's grab this. I'm gonna grab this really quick here too. I'm just really paranoid. Uh, you know what? Let's do this. <laughs> yes, yes. I wear a tinfoil hat. I'm just used to, uh, you know, doing something stupid and getting myself in trouble, so... I don't necessarily need to do that right now. <clears throat> and I don't need that piece of meat over there. What I do need to do is get by here, though. So, let's get in here. Raise the height up. And we're in the radiated fog. That's always fun. That's always fun. Is that a POI or a rock? That's a rock. Okay, good. <laughs> like, holy crap, what the hell? Uh, junkyard. Okay. Oh, and we've got visitors. Wow. Who couldn't see me? You can't see me! Oh! Well, he can! <laughs> I 
Okay, anyone else? Huh? 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 Anyone else looking for trouble? Huh? Huh? Good. So we're also, as you notice, we're, we're, we are trying to get to level 10. So we are going to kind of kill things too, right? So, um, ooh. that's creepy. It sounds like things are moving and then I'm like, oh, I have to jump back in the uh, HV and it's just the, it's just the uh, ambient noise of the game making creepy noises in this biome. God, I love those trees. They're just like epic wood. Epic wood. Oh, was that a... Did I? Yeah. Yeah, see Promethium. Which, by the way, I did find a Promethium node when I was out and about and mined that out after I shot the drone down. Um, let's just jump out. And what we can do is we can use our drill to smash these and pick them up. Where'd it go? Is that it? The one piece? Nope, there it is. And then we'll see if we can get some of that cobalt over there. Might be a little too far. It's not cobalt. Okay. Is there any cobalt up here? Any cobalt? Cobalt? Anyone? Anyone? Okay. How's our weapon situation going? It be ready. We'd be ready for some killing. And I should probably make a multi-tool at this point so I can start doing repairs and stuff, right? I've got the Prometheum, so let's do that. Oops. Uh, that can actually just go in the fridge. Some spoil in the fridge. Well, what the heck? Wait, did I just put that in there? Maybe I just put that in there. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of sad. I don't know. There's some more there. Fine. Okay. Um. Let's go. Alien tower. Here we come. Just looking for cobalt rocks and promethium. Get stuck. It's so one problem with these hover thrusters is you can only go. Oh, uh, oh, phantom reactor. That's okay. We can get fairly close to that. Junkyard. That's cool. And oh, we've got critters all over the place there. Look at that. So let's deal with this. else with attitude wanting to kill me no okay nope don't see anything <laughs> just just got it oh, 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 oh. okay it's just the reactor 
I always get paranoid when I see red arrows, right? Right? There's more critters over there. Huh, that's interesting. This junkyard is actually not buried. The last one I found on single player was like buried up to like the neck, it seemed. Well, that's interesting. Um, I don't need everyone's bits all the time. But when I do need bits, I prefer to kill these alien bugs and take them. Oops. Spiders. Oh, come on. Fine. Whoa. This place is infested with experience. Crazy. Was that five? Another one there. <laughs> Level ten already. Oh my god, we haven't even made it to the frickin' alien tower. I how is this place so infested? Like I can hardly move without having to shoot something. Here, that's Let's get out of here. Can we get... Can we get into an area where there's no... Critters every... Five feet? Mm, not necessarily. That's okay. I'm not gonna stop and grab every single one of their meat and bits at this point. And screw you, tree. Okay, where'd you go? Oh, I keep forgetting how fast this thing is. I think we... I think I take off too fast and they just stop. They just stop chasing, like, almost instantly. Okay. Uh, so we're going to keep heading south. Get back over to the south more. Without every freaking bug in the planet coming after me. Holy crap. There are a lot of bugs. There are a lot of bugs. Oh, look at all these things. Hey, come back. Wow, they're fast for the little tentacle dudes. Oh, I heard... Uh... That's what I did. I did not loot that plant monster back there. Damn. They have good uh, sprouts on them. Okay, where's... I heard a plant monster. I heard a plant monster. There he is. Nope, that's just another one of those um, tentacle dudes. They're only worth 500. They're pretty easy to kill, too, so. Meh. Ooh. But they're creepy as all hell. And they do the charge thing? Ugh. Oh. Found our plant monster. Okay. Okay. We okay? Okay. I want the plant monster. Come on. Thank you. Nice. Pumpkin. 
Those are the primo vegetable. You get the most yield for one plot. Hmm. Kill more of them or keep going. We gotta go past them anyway to get to the alien tower. I mean, we don't have to kill everything. Let's let's head there. Let's head there. We've got weapons. We hit level ten. I mean, realistically, at this point, I want to get the alien tower done right away and get out to the Titans because I want to extract some of the sathium from their frickin' shattered husks. Copper. Got to be careful that I'm not rushing into uh, enemy fire here. Okay, so that's one of those alien artifacts. They don't have any turrets other than the um, other than those anti-personnel, the sentry guns. At least they, that's all they used to have. Let's check it out. Unknown artifact, yeah. And it's got a white name, so that means it's technically not an enemy, but in my experience, they have spawners and stuff in them, and sentry guns, so, eh. I mean, I guess I could, oop, there's a drone coming up here. Oh, and we've got, we've got dudes, so that means there's a village nearby. Let's go check out what this guy's doing. I don't see anything on the radar saying that there should be something over here, though. So is he just, uh, he might be just a stray. Come on. Ugh. Too many trees. Spitty bugs. Huh. Yeah, there really wasn't anything over here. Not sure. Not sure. I mean, I have found wandering drones and Alpha 8 that just seemed to be just kind of wandering around doing nothing. Ooh, that was a nice score. Power coils are good. Some minigun rounds. Let's actually put the meat away here so it doesn't spoil. And we can put the rest of this here. Okay, and I like to keep a tidy inventory. It's just easier to easier to see what you got and what you need. Let's make some multi charges. Okay. <clears throat> So basically, this episode is us getting back to the alien tower by killing everything we see. <laughs> no, it's 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 actually it's about revealing more of the map. And yes, it was about getting. Oh, did you see how I slowed right down there? That was interesting. I'm not sure what that what the game dynamic was there to cause that, but it was interesting nonetheless. Wow, this thing can really grip, grip the side of mountains. That's pretty impressive. 
Uh, we better straighten out. Man, this thing is silent and fast. These, um... Oh, was that more natives? Hmm. Is that what this way is? Let's see, what do we got on the map? Possibly. I don't want to go that way, though. It's just going to take us too long. We're, we're dallying. Let's, uh... Let's start making a bee line here. So some more natives. Oh yeah, this is the, these are the replacement to the Triceratops. Don't they look scary, but they're, they're uh, non-aggressive. <laughs> they look like they could eat you alive though, but they're really tough. So to kill one, I'm gonna stand back here. And, oh, it didn't do its charge. Okay, well that's fine. Let's let's grab its bits because it'll have eggs. Yeah, eggs are valuable for end-game uh, medical stuff. Okay, let's have something to eat. Eighty-four and eighty-two, whatever. It's fine. Good enough. Okay. Let's get this done. Wow, I love how this can can actually leap from mountaintop to mountaintop. Like, is that crazy? This thing almost flies like an SV. Obviously, it doesn't, but... Got some good... Uh, good deposits for iron there. Medium deposit. That should be quite a good uh, chunk to, to mine up. And so the, the idea is, now that I'm level 10, I'm just going to multiply... Oh, 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 oh. I love how to stop how fast this thing is. Um, God, maybe I should just build some... Um, I should probably just try building um, drills and putting them on this thing first before multi-fueling it down. I mean, you never know. Maybe it'll be okay with these hover thrusters. <clears throat> okay. Well, in the meantime, let's go kill this. Just stay away from its rockets. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Fun times. Ooh, capacitor devices. Very nice. They have sathium and uh, neodymium in them. Not much, you know. A few ingots each, but still. It adds up when you got a pile of them. Okay. So, there's something else to discover out here south. So, let's just see if we can discover that really quick. Does it not look like it's going to be a POI, so it's probably just a deposit. Nope. Okay, it's going east. That's fine. This is kind of cool. A little dust bowl. A dust bowl biome. Huh. Okay. That's kind of neat. Kind of like... Uh, Badlands. I'm 
No, we don't seem to be able to find the um, whatever it was. So let's just let's just head over to the tower. We don't need to dilly dally anymore. And whoa. okay, so um, should we just come down <laughs> right there? Okay. Spiders over there? Nope. Well, let's just get a the lay of the land. What kind of creatures we got around here? We got to run around like a like an idiot. I want to at least know what I'm up against. Okay, I don't see any um, predators. So okay. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. We'll just leave this here. It doesn't really matter if I turn the engines off or not. They don't seem to use much power when I'm not moving. So, as you can see, I got a thousand minutes. Okay. So, let's load our weapons. That. Get that loaded. Okay, now I'm not sure if we're going to be close range. I think we're going to be close range, so I'll just leave my shotgun on. Let's jump down here, scare the crap out of ourselves, and then. So we need to touch the wall, let it blow up, push the lever. And now it lights up the place. It wants us to read everything. So we read everything and now it wants us to just don't know what we're going to do. Well, I know what we're going to do. The red wall, portions of the red wall are going to blow up any time maybe here we go maybe there we go <laughs> and then the baddies are they, are they gonna come i need to spawn them don't i oh where's my vehicle it's right there okay where, where are they where are they where are they i hear them they're like really close they're really close Oh! Is he like stuck in the building? I'm. I don't like that when that happens. Oh! Whoa! Oh, he can't get through. He can't get through. Nice. Oh, look at all the uh, the rewards I just got. Okay, so let's... Well, we can loot them. Where's the other one? Is he, like, stuck in the block? Where did he spawn? <laughs> Okay. And we gotta go back to the wreckage. Whatever. Fine, we'll go back to the wreckage. Which is four kilometers away. Not too, too bad. You know. In the olden days, four kilometers in an HV was, like, ridiculous, and you just wouldn't do it. <laughs> Woo! Clear all the spitty bugs. Bye-bye, spitty bugs! Man, I love the distance this thing can pull off. Whoa, let's straighten out. Don't want no spitty bugs getting us while we wipe out here, so. Oops. 
the only problem is this thing has not a lot of clearance so it can be it can be sometimes jarring so to speak as you bottom right out nice you can see how fast you know four kilometers to cover now they, that these things can move 40 meters a second. So this was a big improvement. And... Well, see how I noticeably slowed down right there for some reason? That was really trippy. It's almost like... I don't know, that was just, that felt weird. It was like the brakes were put on. Okay, so what does it want us to do now? Place it, I, I don't really want to turn this into, if you want, well, I don't want, so I'm not gonna make it my base. Just hurry up and tell us where the Titan is already. So the next part of the quest, um, I don't even know why it sends us back here, to tell you the truth, it's just, saying oh get ready do stuff make this your base it's like mm, no thanks mm, don't wanna it's like at the equator all right well not quite okay it's a little bit more of a northern hemisphere but still i'd rather go way further north oh a temple is up there that's not good they'll shoot at us damaged alien tower ah that's gonna be very interesting there we go there we go so now okay titan and front part okay so i've got stuff around i bet you a village is right here how much you want to bet a village is here and for some reason it didn't reveal that's interesting okay let's head over there And once we get there, I guess we'll call it an episode. Or maybe I'll, um, what I'll do is we'll, hmm. Yeah, I'll call it an episode once we get there, I think, because uh, it's already getting long in the tooth here. So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to log out here. Or, well, I'm going to call the episode here anyway and then I'm going to continue on to the Titan and we're going to continue on next episode doing the quest line up to the point where we're not capable of it and we got to we got to start building stuff so that will be our next episode and until then you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day